I have right here the interim board. All right? I'm not talking about as a That's what this is. That's it. This what explains this is. what happens right? till Monday. I'm going to hand you a copy. I'm going to read it out loud. <laughs> you, can, you can watch as I read it. All right? You ready? Loud. The interim order. I've got a signed interim order here, okay? Mildred really needs to be up here. State of Wisconsin, Circuit Court Branch 3, Dane County. Wisconsin State Employees Union, AFSCME Council 24, AFL, CIO, et al. Petitioner versus State of Wisconsin, Department of Administration, respondent. Case number 11 CV 990. Interim order. Based upon the hearings before the court on March 1st, 2011 through March 3rd, 2011, and the court having concluded that the current DOA <coughs> policy regarding access to the state capitol violates the state constitution. <laughs> and that unauthorized materials and people remaining in the state capitol on closing each day are there in violation of state law. Now, therefore, it is ordered the, that the defendant, DOA, shall do the following. One, DOA shall immediately enforce its inherent authority pursuant to Administrative Chapter 2, including but not limited to <coughs> taking such action as allowed under the law to remove unauthorized <laughs> materials and people remaining in the state capitol after 6 p.m. today. Number two, by 8 a.m. March 8, 2011, <coughs> DOA shall open the state capitol to all members of the public and rescind the access policies put into place February 28, 2011, and replace them with the access policies in effect on January 28, 2011. This order shall remain in effect until further order of the court, consistent with the court's decision of March 3, 2011, dated this third day of March 2011, by the court, signed John C. Albert, Circuit Court Judge, Branch 3. CC is Attorney Peggy La A. Loggenschlager. L L Schlager. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. And Assistant Attorney General Stephen P. Means. That's the end of the case. Um, no, sir, the question though is what happens tomorrow as far as access? Yeah, it's going to take a while to get back to normal, guys. I, I understand that, but, but as of tomorrow, what should I expect as far as are there going to be any people allowed in? Because if we're all gone, then they don't, and they have to march 8 in order to, to open the doors at 8. That means, or, or whatever. The, the, the fact of the matter is, um, you know, does that mean that this building is completely and totally lacking public until then, but what yeah. happens exactly as of tomorrow? I guess that was the okay. <coughs> Here's what's happening. Okay? <coughs> Chief Tobes and I have been around here this whole time, right? Yep. Yeah. With very few exceptions. Yeah. Yeah. All right? If we could give you specifics right now, I would give them to you. Wait, hear me out. <laughs> I just read this for the first time. I have the very same questions you do. Yes. <laughs> okay? Chief Tubbs probably has those same questions and more. He and I haven't had a chance to talk. We read this to you. This is the first time his ears heard it. This is the first time my eyes and ears saw and heard. I, I would be lying to you if I said to you, Right now, literally 14 hours after I started work this morning, that I could come up with a quick response to that, okay? So, I get where you're coming from. 
All right? I, I genuinely do. I think Chief Tubbs does. I think Chief Stark, who's been here talking to you guys for days. We get it. Okay? We get that the rules DOA put in place have been ruled unconstitutional. I will not ever knowingly violate the Constitution of the United States. Understand? Yes.